Like every girl, I do have a special boy in my heart. But in my case, he wasn't my boyfriend. We haven't even spoken to each other before, but an awkward situation brought us closer. Jake walking towards the elevator with his phone on speaker, talking to a female voice. The conversation sounds like an argument. And about to step into the elevator, the building lights went off. Jake stopped, and like two seconds later, the lights came back on. He went into the elevator while he continued his conversation. Listen, Tara, the person on the phone is Tara. Travis being black has nothing to do with his failure of the project. I helped him every way I could, but he himself gave a little seriousness to his work. While the conversation was going on, I was standing right in the corner of the elevator looking at Jake, my crush from 5th grade. I didn't know if it was okay to say hi at the moment, after hearing the kind of conversation that was going on. And the fact that I'm also a black lady, I mean, should I just keep silent and crush on him from afar? But to be sincere, this could be my one chance of talking to him. Jake is cute, smart, hot, charismatic, he is my dream. But the argument continues. But from what I was hearing, I think this Tara he's talking to on the phone isn't giving him the chance to talk or explain himself. Why do you black people always think that every issue has to do with color? Travis failed and that is his own fault. I'm sorry for him, but that doesn't mean that you should put the blame on me. You know what I think? You black people are the most racist of all. Jake ends the call and I could tell he's so angry right now. But something tells me that this is my chance. Then I just spoke out and said, You know, we black people aren't all that bad. After saying this, the elevator lights went off. Jake turned back and the lights came back on. Seeing me all of a sudden gave him quite a shock and he shouted out of fear. <gasps> Even his phone fell from his hand and the screen broke. He jumped to the opposite corner. He asked how long I've been there, listening to his conversation, and I replied answering every one of them respectively. And that was how we started talking. We talked a lot, mostly about how people generally can put aside their racial differences and get along with one another. While the conversation was going on, Jake was opposing every point I tried to prove. Probably because he's mad at the current situation, or I'm just like the one making the matter worse. At that moment, I felt like the best thing to do is to end the conversation as fast as possible. Successfully, I did, and we both went out of the elevator, and we both went our separate ways. As I walked away, I felt so bad and mad at myself. I felt like bringing up that conversation had ruined my chances with him. The next day, it was like destiny and fate had teamed up to work things out in my favor. I walked to the elevator, pressed the button, it opened, and to my surprise, Jake was standing at a corner reading a note. He looked up, saw me, and he was shocked. We both greeted each other and kept mute for a while until he broke the silence. He called my name and apologized for being rude yesterday. I was so happy to hear such words coming from him. It was like I had never heard an apology before. I accepted his apology and we both smiled at each other. Then Jake changed the conversation and asked about my schedule. He asked if I would be going to the carnival, the musical concert this weekend. I didn't have plans to, but Jake invited me, so of course I was going with him. And at that moment, it was so obvious that I couldn't resist him and I was already blushing. So immediately I turned away and went to my apartment. That was how that awkward situation brought us closer than ever. Please tell me, what would you have done if you were there in my place? Do share it in the comment box below. And don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Bye!